Yeah, part two to that saga. The next thing you know, I fell in love with lasagna. No, I started having a relationship with lasagna. And the crazy part is, let me tell you slowly, y'all. You know, my friends ain't no girl in lasagna. Nice. Beautiful. So I'm like, yeah, man. So everybody, like, oh, you want some lasagna? I was telling them about the other lasagna. You know, so that affected my relationship with lasagna, the woman lasagna, because, you know, every time, you know, the other particular young lady would leave her, her lasagna, her pussy sent a lasagna, she'd leave it there. So, you know, then I'd go sneak off, get under the covers, you know, you know, bust all over the lasagna, had the lasagna bust and all that sauce on me. And by the time the real lasagna came, you know, it was over. So, yeah, so like me and lasagna, you know, lasagna, the food, you know, pussy sent lasagna, just had a relationship. It was hard to let her go. Lasagna. And then the other lasagna was wondering, you know, what's going on? You know, she had nothing to worry about. You know, she just lost out to, you know, she just lost out to some beautiful food. But yeah, so my brothers, my people was like, wondering, bro, why, 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 why would lasagna come around? Are you rejecting her? Because, you know, because the other young lady left me the lasagna, which, you know, she threw her drawers in and, you know, I became an addict for lasagna and had to go to rehab, recovery. Now, I still think about lasagna to this day. I just, you know, whenever a young lady made me lasagna, my wife or whoever I tell me, please, don't throw your underwear in there. Don't throw your thong in there. Maybe just throw your bra in there, you know. Well, don't throw your bra. Don't, don't, don't throw anything in there. Just make the lasagna for me. Yeah. Just throw your lasagna in there. It's more.